Hello everybody and welcome back to the West Ham Network. My name's Anton bringing you another update coming out of our wonderful club West Ham. Now, um, today's story is a bit of a breaking news, but I'll go into it why I think it's not necessarily a breaking news story as such. So let me just come over here and get this camera sorted for you. But I'm here. Here we are. So um, some news was coming out today stating that the club have told Kurt Zuma that he can find a new club. There's apparent interest from clubs in Saudi Arabia, um, and Lopetegui has probably made his judgment on Kurt Zuma, thinking that, you know, he's, he's, it's just not going to happen at West Ham. Obviously, we're, as fans, have been concerned about Zuma's fitness for probably a couple of seasons now. Um, and I think it was an astute piece of business when we did bring him in. He is currently the captain of West Ham, but... Apparently, um, rumours close to the club are saying that Lopetegui feels that he, the wages could be more well spent elsewhere in a different defender. Um, apparently, though, Zuma wants to stay, but there is the option also of a potential buyout of his contract. And they are, of course, only rumours as things stand. However, this is only kind of coming out today, but back in June, Team Talk themselves actually announced that West Ham had officially transfer listed Kurt Zuma um, and stating that... Um, West Ham were very open to losing our captain this summer. Now, when fit, Zuma was a mainstay of the team under the former manager of David Moyes, but it appears that Julian Lopetegui had to make do without his services for this coming campaign. Now, he's made over 100 appearances for the club um, and took over the captaincy earlier in the 23-24 season. And he is still only 29, former French international, of course not chosen for the international side. Um, and he's became a hugely influential, influential and extremely popular member of the squad since joining West Ham from Chelsea on a four-year deal back in August of 2021. Now, sources close to the player have indicated that he expressed doubts about his future, with the club now inviting offers for the fre former French international. Now, he does have one year remaining on his contract, where I believe he's on in and around £125,000 per week. And if he's not going to be a mainstay in the West Ham team, then you can fully understand why West Ham would be looking at shipping him out. And I do think it would be the right decision, in my honest opinion. Now, we have been robbed of vital experience over the past couple of years. Ogbonna's gone um, and, of course, we've brought Max Kilman in, but it looks like Lopetegui wants to find another centre-back partner alongside that. We've still got a guard. We've still got Mavropanos. The, the, the jury's out for me on Mavropanos, and the rule apparently closes, sources close to a guard means he wants to leave, but we don't know how true that is. Um, but it means that Tim Steiden would be a very, very busy man uh, to try and get another player in. I would believe they would be doing their homework and due diligence on other players. Anyway, what is going to be interesting is, does Zuma want to leave? Here's a couple of key factors. And if Zuma doesn't want to leave, then where does that leave West Ham? Are West Ham in a rush to get rid of Zuma? And if they are, which is what we're led to believe, then they'll need to bring another player in. The issue you're going to have is, can we get a fee for a player of Kurt Zuma's with his injury records? And, you know, you're seeing images of, of, of ice packs around his knees and um, with the more recent injuries at West Ham. And if not, will West Ham be willing to buy out his contract? And there's something to be said. It's not a bad decision for a club to make that decision there and then um, to, to, to take the hit sometimes. I mean, how many times have we taken hit over the years of players that have come into West Ham and not worked out and then sold them for not many profits? Um, and I think when we got Zuma in, it was the right decision at the time. Um, but over the last season or season and a half, it's just not been uh, fantastic, um, obviously, with his uh, uh, injury concerns, you could say. So I think... Um, this will be an interesting story over the next couple of days or weeks, but this isn't necessarily breaking news as such. This has been out in the mainstream media since June. Let me actually give you the exact date of when this came out. June the 11th, this came out and was written from West Ham United's team talk, saying that West Ham had transfer listed 
uh, club captain Kurt Zuma realising that they were going to try and move on from him. So I think that's always been in the bag. Um, and if that is true, if that is true, then I'm also not so sure why no one is coming for him, which would be a concern. But yes, if he does go, I think it's the right decision. I've put in there the value. I'm not saying that's what West Ham will get. That's what West Ham could try to demand. But if we're trying to demand a value for the player, that could be where the problem lies. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with it. But leave your comments in. Let me know your thoughts. Um, hit the thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel, please, as well. Let me know your thoughts on Kurt Zuma. Uh, and come on, you guys.